Hey guys, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we're going to be continuing the AP Calculus 2017 free response questions. So let's get right into it. Um, this is number two. When a certain grocery store opens, it has 50 pounds of bananas on a display table. Customers remove the bananas from the display table at a rate modeled by this, where f of t is measured pounds per hour. So we're removing bananas. Uh, at this rate, pounds per hour. After the store has been open for three hours, store employees add bananas to the display at a rate modeled by this. So we're taking away at a rate. So F and G are rates. They're pounds per hour. They're not pounds total. A, how many pounds of bananas are removed from the display during the first two hours? Okay, this is pretty easy. If this is the rate at which we're removing them, then the total would be the area under the curve of this. Okay, and we don't care about the replacing because they're just asking how many are removed. Sine t cubed over 100. Okay, so again, this is a kind of a graphing calculator uh, problem. So, um, if you guys have any suggestions of a good like calculator program that would like be helpful for you guys. Oh, there's a T right here. Can't forget that. Sign. But yeah, I'm looking for kind of something I could simulate and show like in like so you guys can like see what I'm putting into the calculator. It's a little tricky because there's a lot of different calculators out there. So I don't know um, if it would be helpful to do one particular calculator or, you know, change it up or maybe do a video on um, what different calculators. You guys let me leave a comment. And let me know what you guys um, would like. Uh, okay. What happened here? Zero to dx, I evaluated. And the approximate value is 21 point. Four. OK. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. Let me just check one thing. Yeah. Integrate. I had this problem before where uh, the calculator is giving me a weird number, and I'm trying to figure out if it's giving me the right number. Yeah. Uh, oh, let me, let me, uh, go to more decimal places because uh, that I've noticed has been happening. Three, five, nine. Okay, so that's how many is removed. I set up this integral. Uh, find the derivative of f at seven and using correct to explain the meaning of f derivative. Okay, so f prime of t is just the derivative of this. The derivative of that is zero. The derivative of this, I gotta use product rule. Uh, I can put the 0 0.8 in front, and then I just use t times sine of this as like the, the product rule. So it would be the derivative of the first, which is just 1, plus t times the derivative of the second, which would be cosine t cubed over 100. But since the inside of this isn't just t, uh, I can do chain rule. So that's times 3t squared over 100, the derivative of the inside. Uh, so the derivative at 7, when I plug it into my trusty calculator, I get um, 
point one two zero um, and the units of this well f of t is units pounds per hour so this would be pounds per hour squared And this is sort of the num so so it's the rate of change of the rate of change, right? The rate that we're we're taking away is eight point one two, or it, it's some number of of pounds of bananas per hour, but that's decreasing. So the rate that we're taking away bananas is decreasing. So like, less people are taking away bananas. Like, they're still taking away bananas, but they're taking it away at a slower rate. So you kind of write that out in as many words as you want to say, but that's the numerical part. Okay, is the number of pounds of bananas in the display increasing or decreasing at time t equals 5? Give a reason for your answer. Well, the rate of change of the bananas is how many I'm putting on minus how many I'm taking away. So I'm looking at g of t minus f of t. Now, if I'm putting more bananas on to the display than I'm taking away, then I'm increasing the number of bananas. And if I'm and if it's negative, that I'm like uh, then I'm taking away more. So it really depends on which one is bigger. So we want to compute g of 7. Oh wait, no, at five. G of five minus F of five and decide if, which one is bigger. So G of five, three plus two point, oops, three plus 2.4 natural log of uh, five squared 25 plus 35. This is 11.5328 and then F of three or F of five I do 10 plus 0.8 times 5 times sine of 5 cubed divided by 100. I get this is 13.7959. Because this is less than 0, or in other words, f is bigger, we're taking away bananas, so we're um, decreasing. Um, yeah, right, okay, good. Uh, so D, how many pounds of bananas are displayed at the table at time T equals eight? Okay, so the way you want to think of it is, well, I started off with, uh, how many bananas? Where did I start? I started off with 50. And then, um, I added, or I took away, um, See, I took away this many bananas from 0 to 8 of f of t dt. And I added in bananas, but I only added in bananas from 3 to 8, right? So 3 to 8 g of t dt. So this is kind of the setup. And you'll do each of these integrals separately. I'm going to use my calculator to do first the 0 to 8 one for f of t. I got that this is minus 77.879. Okay, now I want to type in g of t. 3 plus 2.4 natural log of squared plus 2 times x. And I'm going to integrate this from 3 to 8. Not 0 to 8, right? Because they're saying that it's, it's starting at times 3 is when where the employees are actually doing something. Um, so that one is a little bit tricky. Be careful on not putting that 3 down there. And I get that is plus 58.964. So I, I total all these together. I do 50 minus 77.879 plus 58.964. And I get that's equal to 31.085 pounds. Okay, so let's take a look at how that compares to the scoring guidelines. Uh, question two. Hmm. That one looks different than what I got. I got 21.359, and they're saying 20.05. Okay, so I got the right integral. Maybe my calculator was off. Um, yeah, D, yeah, somehow my calculator is not doing it because A and D I got wrong. So whatever integral calculator, I'm, like I set up these things correctly, I just, I'm getting a different answer. So we'll just say I docked those points. This is correct. 
and that's correct so it's decreasing okay so cool so other than getting the numerical prop part of the problem wrong uh we we set it up and computed it correctly just i don't know like whatever calculator i'm using perhaps it's um it's just not doing it correctly i'm not sure why yeah could be around here yeah i'm not, I'm not entirely sure i'm not entirely sure what happened so in any case, uh, hopefully um, that at least uh, the setup and everything like that made sense. Um, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, like, or subscribe if you'd like to see other kinds of content or just drop me a comment. Um, thanks. I'll see you uh, when we do free response question number three.